Hello, welcome. This is Kenshin 1913. And we are doing another Let's Play stream live thing, Majigger, of Dragon Quest Builders, the penultimate bonus episode. Uh, off screen, I did um, figure out where to pick up some materials so that we can have some amazing fun this evening. Amazing fun. So yeah, fun times. We can discuss E3. Hey Abel, what's up? I would like to th congratulate the Washington Capitals on their Stanley Cup victory, as well as the Golden State Warriors on their NBA uh, Finals victory. They crushed those poor Cavs. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make a prediction video. Uh, my brother was just not around, unfortunately. And, um, yeah, so in the last episode, we started getting this place all set. And what I want to do is I want to summon... I want to summon these guys. Every resident appear before me. All right, I want to take you, Mr... No, I don't want him to leave the party. I want him to fall. I don't want you in my group. I want you in my group. I know exactly where we're going to be going today, everybody. Where's that monster robot guy going? I want you in my group. Hey, Phoenix Blade, what's up? How are you? D did I have a, a night lady? I didn't have a guard. I thought I had a guard somewhere. Oh well. Maybe I didn't have a guard. One thing I do want to make sure I have, I have a weapons. Yeah, I need to make a weapon. So I found out where I can fight more killing machines. I honestly thought that there was a guard here before I saved it. Oh well. Yep, I have been LPing Star Ocean. I'm really enjoying the first game. I am trying to not recruit... How can I put this? I don't want to recruit... There are certain characters I'm not recruiting. And I'm just trying to make sure that I know which characters I'm not recruiting. For when I need to recruit uh, regular characters. Alright, let's make a Steel Broadsword. But uh, also, I'd like to congratulate the horsey, the horsey that uh, won the uh, Triple Crown today also. Another great day in the history of horsey racing. Good job on that horsey. Right, so let's head over to where I can go. I'm going to go first go get my materials to get the robot parts so that I can make some magic weapons. Where's that hole that I made? Over here. But, um, what else was I going to talk about? I see that E3 is, has uh, come out. Uh, we have Last of Us 2. There's some EA game that looks pretty good. Something about oceans or something? The oceans? Or something like that? I don't know. Some ocean thing. Where it's like... Billions of s ocean something. I keep saying ocean. And no, it's not Star Ocean. Although that would be pretty cool if it was. But it's not. Oh, that's cool. Snow from Final Fantasy 13. Honestly, I'm surprised because... I didn't think that he would be in that game because he's not really a fighter. You know what I mean? You know what? Just take these guys out. Follow me, robots. As we head towards more robot victory. They're going to be doing a Dragon Quest XI demo on E3. Yeah, I saw Japan, those sons of bitches. Not that I hate Japan, but... Those SOBs, they're getting, um, they're getting like a complete Dragon Quest X series on, on the Switch and stuff. 
And then I was reading something about, like, how there, uh, there was a guy, he was saying how, like, it's not worth having them bring it over here because it's kind of like, it's kind of like Final Fantasy XI. Hey, Bolzom, what's up? But it's like Final Fantasy XI's, uh, online thing and, and stuff. I, I, I forgot exactly what they said, but I was like, you know, man, can't you still bring it out? Because one, one thing the, these guys were bitching about was like, oh, the simplicity of the game and how the story, this, that, and the other. It's like, who cares? Bring it out. I can't wait till. I hope there is a devoted fan base that is bringing out, uh, that is working on at least, at least, uh, you know, getting the story. But the thing about uh, Dragon Quest X is the fact that it's online. And then it's one of them services where you gotta, like, pay monthly. Which I think is kind of garbage. Dude, Cyan is available in, uh, in Dissidia? Alright, now you piqued my interest. Dude, I love Cyan. I'm gonna have to Google that when this is over. Where am I? I think I'm heading the right way. Where's my other robot? Okay, come on, robot. And yeah, we're gonna skip all this. Although, I could probably beat these guys. Oh, I think I did beat these guys last time. I don't wanna waste any of my stuff right now. Whoops. I was about to say, did I forget how to attack? Holy god. Alright, this way. Robots. Robots. Yeah, James, I, I, uh, not much is going on. Just chilling on a Saturday night, not hanging out with anybody, so I figured I'd, uh, LP, or I'd, uh, stream some stuff. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not taking on any of these guys. They suck. The full game is called The City of Final Fantasy Opera Om Om Omnia. You know, I'm surprised they brought Cyan. I heard that they put in Locke, right? Locke? Is he in it? I heard that... I heard that... Uh, okay, here we go. Here's our first robot. But I want to show you where you can go fight. I don't know if this is going to be for everybody, of course. Yo, can you not shoot your laser? Is it even working? Oh, here's another robot. Can you hit him with something that doesn't, like, suck? I don't even know- I don't even know what's going on. Can you not keep shooting your robo-laser? Is that all you can do? Alright, got another microchip thingy. I'm almost dead. Heal up. All right, goody. Hey, Marshy. Okay, let's fix some stuff. Oh, see, I thought I heard Locke was in it. Maybe I maybe I misheard. I thought I heard Locke was in it. All right, let's put this stuff away. Take out. Do I have one of these stubs, stumps? But yeah, James, I saw that. Um, I saw that uh, that video that you threw up on the Bolzome Facebook about like if you were gonna do an indie game, you were gonna play like a tactical one. That one looked kind of interesting. No, apparently I don't have anything to make herbs. Herbs. Now let me take this out. My HP does recover. While I'm running around, it's like if I had the uh, if I had the magic armor or something on. Oh, he's in Final Fantasy Dissidia and X. Is that out for America? America. Yeah, I, w I, w I want to show you guys where. I want to show you where I you can. Uh... 
You can fight a bunch of robots and collect many microchips, which I need at least five. Okay, there you see the gigantes over there? Those are going to be robots that pop up all over the place. And I see over here. Now what I want to do is I'm going to try and take him out with this useless cannon. The Dissidia FF games are pretty cool. I like it. Oh, dude, you can play a shadow? Really? Dude, that's awesome. I didn't know you get to play a shadow. Are those games available on Steam? Alright, get rid of this robot here, guys. How come these robots aren't as strong as that robot? And how come I am not hitting him at all? You gotta get real close. Ow. I don't want to have to use my item yet. Get him. Yay. Alright, let's shoot this guy some more. See, my goal is to make a big, big hole. A giant ass hole. In which he will be stuck in once I get once I shoot him. Even though I only need one more microchip. Let's move right here. Yeah, I, I actually own the first Final Fantasy of the City. I thought it was pretty good. Alright, let's move it. I believe Zidane is in it. Yeah, he, he's one of the main characters from the first one. Alright, we're getting a little closer knocking off all this stuff here so that the Gigantes is going to be hovering. Yeah, I think they made a, a, a Final Fantasy Dissidia, then they made another one where it was just, um... Let's see if I, if I put it here, he's going to... Yeah. This is a bad move. Although, if he just stays over there, I'm fine with that. Don't come closer. Don't run over to him. Turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Or just stand there. I'm fine with you standing there. But yeah, I heard in the second Final Fantasy Dissidia, they added, like, second second uh, heroes and stuff. I don't know who they added for 9. Obviously, the first game, they had the Warrior of Light. Haha. -ha. Wow, that was so much easier than when I originally was fighting him. Because I tried this before. Don't tell me he didn't drop anything, either. He better have dropped something. There we go. We got our first meaty bone. So there you go. We got we got four microchips. We need one more. There should be robots all all up in here. There we go. There's another one. Yeah, James. I don't know if I told you, but you should check out this channel. It's called like Daria RPG or something like that. She her favorite series is Shining Force, and she just recently put up a video about why she loves Shed Shining Force. Yeah, let me just eat this. I am shooting him right in the crotch. That's probably why. He, oh, that's probably why he's uh, so uh, aggravated, or he didn't even come over. I'm, which I'm honestly surprised he didn't. All right, get him, get him, get him. Can you guys get him? Jeez, you guys suck at this. Now I'm almost dead. Get him. All right, do that so I can get over here and hit you. All right, another microchip. I think that's enough. I think you need five. I'm heading back. Yeah, she talks about Shining Force quite a bit. She loves Shining Force. She's probably like the second biggest fan of Shining Force besides you. Oh, another Chimera. All right, sleepy time. Yeah, I like Zidane. 
he definitely had he definitely had a good story. Like he might have been the most well formed. I like Titus. I will admit, I did like Titus. I know that's probably like um it's probably like sacrificial people like, oh my god, you like the most annoying Final Fantasy character. But honestly, I didn't think he was that annoying. I thought he was fine. Yeah, okay. Make as many as you can. Yeah, that's not a problem, Phoenix Blade. Thank you for doing that. That's cool of you. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is make a magic cannon. Well, we need to make magic ignuts. I'm going to make, like, two of these here. Alright, I got five magic ignits. First thing we're doing is making a magic cannon. My favorite item in the game. Yeah, Titus was better than Squall. I just... I don't know. There's a lot of things wrong with... Alright, we make one of these. Hella hammer. And honestly, I'm going to make an Aurora Blade and that's it. Right? Because then I'm going to make the Swords of Kings and stuff. So, in order to make, like, all the good stuff on the bottom here, full plate, no, Aurora Armor, I need or or Kelkum. I said that right, or Kelkum, I already made one of these, didn't I? Yeah. And then I need to make the Sword of Kings, which I need Steel Ignit and or Kelkum. So I need a lot of or Kelkum. Say it with me, or Kelkum. Back in the day, I have been like... Uh, it's blah, blah, blah. You know, the thing about a good video game, or good hero, a good video game hero is the people that he surrounds himself with, right? Or he or she. So, like, if you think about all the games, like, Final Fantasy X had a terrific, like, supporting cast with like you know you had Waka, Lulu, Yuna, Orin, Kilmari, even Kilmari the the cat man who didn't really have much to say actually had a good decent plot a decent backstory all right so I want these two monsters to come with me so now we're gonna go get some rock bomb shards And where are the rock bomb shards? They're at the end of the uh, Cantlin level. Is it Titus or Titus? I always say Titus. Or Titus. I don't know. Maybe that's because I like a comedian named Christopher Titus. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's let's run through the run through the hills. Run through the hills. Run for Oh, hey, here's the green thing. Okay, so we'll keep that there for now. But yeah, let, let's head to the end. And now that I have the magic cannon, I'm going to take out whoever bothers me. and Or just blow up a bunch of crap. It's going to be beautiful. Like, I should just break all this. But I don't have, I don't have time. Well, yeah, because I want to get to the, the fourth area. Ah, what the hell, I'll break up. I'll break up a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Alright, there we go. Perfect, let's keep going. And yeah, I do have the meteorite armband equipped as well. So that's probably why I'm running quicker, of course. Let's equip this. I wonder if I made a hole going... No, probably not. Alright, follow me, robots. Let's go. So has anyone been watching E3 at all? Uh, anything to discuss about E3? I heard The Last of Us 2 is... is uh, I don't know if it got an official... Uh, release date, but I heard they're trying to get it out this year. Which would be pretty sweet, if you want my opinion. Which you might not, I mean. You'd be like, I don't care about what this guy says. 
He's a war he's an a-hole. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Alright, do not go in the water. The level cap for what? Dissidia? There was a level cap? Where'd my other robot friend go? I probably don't really need him, but... You know, I brought him along with me. And you know, you never want to leave a man behind. But oh well. Oh well. James, was there a level cap in Shining Force? In the first one, was it in 20 and then 99? Where the hell are the rock bomb guys? They said they're at the end of the level. That's the scorpions. The one on the mobile. Oh, here we go. Scorpion horn. Get off me, Drakey. You will always be a Drakey to me. No. Oh, maybe. It might possibly be Orkelcom. Yeah, this gotta be Orkelcom. I'll be back. I wish I had a thing. Get away from me. The Last of Us, Death Stranding, Final Fantasy VII Remake, Kingdom Hearts 3, Possible Cannibal. Yeah, E3, E3 I heard was uh, pretty good so far. There's something like Ocean of Stars or something like that. Or Stranded in the Ocean. Something like that, alright? That's the name of the, uh... Can you stop hitting me, please? Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. Ooh, I just beat him. Dude, this Aurora Sword is not that good for this guy. I wonder if I should use the hammer if I get more hits that way. I don't know. I don't remember how many rock bomb shards I need in order to make a. Let's look. How many rock bomb shards do I need to make the bomb thingy? I need at least three. All right, I'm gonna equip this. Come on! Oh, woo! Wow, that was close. Holy moly. Yeah, I want to play Final Fantasy VII when it comes out, too. I'm really looking forward to that. Alright, please don't die. I don't have any healing items. Which is probably a huge mistake. You know what? I got an idea. Why am I attacking this rock bomb from far away like this? Why don't I just destroy him with my magical cannon? Let's see if I can take him out from here. Oh yeah. Go away, go away, go away, go away. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit, one more hit. Did I get him? Yes! Alright. I am running out of space. I 
I have officially run out of space. I wonder if I should try to take down another one. Huh. No, you know what? That's pretty probably pretty good. But I will be back here for the Orc Helcom. Nice, they give you Cloud Chapter 1. That's cool. Yeah, I think I think he was in... Uh, wasn't he in the regular Dissidia? He was the main character? Alright, so let's take a nappy poo. Hmm. You know, I don't know if they ever came out with cheats that you could use in Shining Force to level up really quick. You know, I was consider I was honestly considering playing uh, the one for the GBA, but I just never got around to doing it. Oh no no no! There we go. I got more room now. All right, let's come in here and make a bomb. Maybe you make the bomb? How about you? Okay, make the bomb. <laughs> no, I don't want you coming with. Here we go, wrecking ball. Level cap in the city is 4-9. Holy shit, how do you level up that far? Isn't that the level cap in, um... What's it called, too? Uh... Hyper Dimension Neptuna, isn't it? 3-9, though? Yeah, hopefully with Final Fantasy... You know what, I wish Final Fantasy VII Remake... Here's my dream remake. Updated graphics. Same story, but add, like... Add stuff to where, like, everybody bitched about plot holes, right? Add, like, z some Zack things where you can... M maybe not play as Zack, but flesh out the story a little bit more. Stuff that you wanted to do but you couldn't do, I want them to do. That's what I want. To be honest. If you really want to know my opinion. Which, again, I don't know if you're here for that. But... That's what I hope for. And then, the, obviously, game mechanics and stuff, you know... Make don't make it don't make it shitty. Uh, one thing I would probably change is like I don't know materia stuff maybe. I don't know and don't make the characters like walking stereotypes. Like don't make Barrett like a walking stereotype now. Although maybe now nowadays he technically is almost a walking stereotype because his character was almost groundbreaking back in the day where it was like hey here's this here's this black character. He's got a potty mouth. He's a badass. You know, you didn't have a lot of black video game characters. They were like main characters that you get to play as. You know? I would like a bonus dungeon, yes. Maybe go more into Genova. Like, they didn't really go into Genova. Yeah, dude, the bonus dungeon would be like an an the Ancients like temple or something. And there where you can like get Eris back. Or do like uh, where you can only have Eris back for this for this dungeon or something. That would be kind of cool. Hey, here's the other robot. That would be pretty sweet. Like they do in um, Dragon Quest VII, where they had Kiefer come back for a bit for the bonus dungeon. You could play it, or you could have him in your you could have him in your party again, which I thought was pretty cool. Something like that. And then, like, give... Make it so that Yuffie and Vincent are... Yuffie and Vincent are both, uh... You have to recruit them. So, like, you recruit Vincent the first time you go into... Uh... The ho the Shinra Mansion. Oh, did I lose the robot again? I think I did. Recruit, and then Yuffie... Like, ma make the world... So the first forest you go into when you go into the Shin, or when you're going to, uh, what the hell is the name of that big cannon area? Junin. Make it so that, like, you have to go through a forest, and then through that forest, you meet Yuffie. 
that would be pretty cool. So then you're ma you're making these characters, and and for the love of God, they're gonna do it because they're Japanese and that's what they do. But they make like they're gonna make Yuffie like the happy, hyper, young chick or whatever. And I, did I just go in a circle? Where the hell was that or Kelcom? <clears throat> but they're gonna do that. They're gonna make her the happy, super time, fun girl or whatever. I would love for them to remake Final Fantasy IX, but honestly, I think Final Fantasy IX, the only thing you would need to do, <clears throat> honestly, would be to add voices. And I don't really, I honestly don't think there's too much of a, like, a, there's too much, like, plot holes in that game. But that game's really good. For Final Fantasy VIII, if they remade that, I'd just like to see updated graphics. Take out the whole part about GFs. Not, like, uh, like, taking away, like, your memories or some shit. I don't know. I, I couldn't stand that. I would, I, I would, I would change, if I was doing Final Fantasy VIII, I would, there are two things that I would change. Like, junction system, obviously. And that's not even, like, that's not even, like, a gripe to me. I just don't, don't like it. But, like, I would get rid of them all being friends or them not knowing. The whole GF thing was like, just feel like a giant cop out. You know? Final Fantasy X, the only remake I'd like. I don't even know what I'd like to see them do if they remade that. I, there's no point in remaking X, I don't think. To me, I wouldn't remake it, I would just like HD remaster it. I must be getting close to where the, uh, where the Orkelcom, oh, there it is, good. Let's check this out and see if this is Orkelcom. Boom, it is, sweet. And I saw a spot where there's, like, more. So we'll go over here. Yeah, right up there, or even over here. But before we even go up over there... Let's blast it. So in case there's any behind, I can get that too. Oh, you know what I would do? I, oh, okay. Final Fantasy IX, thinking about it now. You know what I would do? I would add backstory to Freya. Because Freya kind of loses, like, an Amaranth. Like, he's got a decent... He doesn't have that much of a backstory, like Amaranth. Like, all I would want them to do is just fill out more details about the characters and stuff. Honestly, if that was me, like, with... With the Final Fantasy games, I'd be like, alright, just add more... Add it so that they're more of a well-rounded character story-wise. Like, Vivi and Ico and Dagger and all them get a lot of story. Even Steiner to an example, even Steiner to a point gets a lot. Is there any more Orkelcom here? I would use it right here, but it's three. Eh, what the hell is three? Alright. Run! Alright, I got enough Orc Kelcom. Let's get the hell out of here. But yeah, I, the Freya story kind of just... Kind of just like... Phoom, you know, after a certain point, you don't really... Like, she meets her person... Fre Fre what the hell was his name? Sir Fre Freddy or something like that. She meets that guy and then... Let's see. What can I throw in here? Uh, throw sand. I'm going to put obsidian. Yeah, so th there's some work to be done in that game. Yeah, this is all obsidian. Oh, I got I got to... Let's see, how can I do this? I 
put this in there. Nope. Or calcum here. Wheat here. Finest fur. Mushrooms. I'm going to put the water bucket here. And the wrecking ball. Now I'm just going to take out all of this stuff here. Clay. 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 I, I don't even know why I'm keeping the clay. I should just get rid of it. But no, I'm, I might need it for something. So Chalk, I might need it. Yeah, Freya and Amaranth story, I think. And even Quinoa, a little, or Quinoa, Quinoa, Quinoa. Even Quinoa story needs to be added, yeah. Where did this delicious grain come, where did this superfood come from, and how can I get more of it? Yeah, I'm just putting a ton of this stuff away. Amaranth. Any, anyone who has like a. Anyone who kind of joins later in the game that doesn't really get like a good story. But yeah, her the Freya thing, just like. After a while, she's like, oh, I'm looking for my love, my lost love. Oh, I found him. And then that's it. There's nothing else. Ice. Put that away. Uh. Sure, more sand, more obsidian, earth will leave out, sandstone put away, sandy sandstone, like there's a difference, what is this, this is two different things, yeah let's put these color blocks away, and there we go, we made a ton of space, good. I don't even think all this is going to fit. Do I have any chests? Any chests in here? Or do I need to make one? No. Chest. Where the hell is the chest? Or maybe my eyes are going and I just went by it. Which could also be the case. I right, let's make a couple chests. Oh, dude, you can use sets there. Oh man, I gotta check out this game. I hope I hope that game is on. I hope that game is on. Uh, is on Steam somewhere. Nope. This place is quickly becoming my treasury here. Even though it's out in the open. Alright, let's make uh, some good uh, good stuff. Sword of Kings, baby, yeah. But yeah, you know why I would love a Final Fantasy... I know this is going to sound kind of... Uh, Kind of like, what are you talking about? But a Final Fantasy uh, 2 remake would be terrific. With voice acting and, like, really nice sprites and stuff. That would be fun. Yeah, I am working on something. Uh, I am working on something on the back end. There's a lot of things I'm working on in the back end. And I do, you know, sometimes I, the, my problem is I open my mouth and I mention that I'm doing something. Oh, I gotta unequip it first. Let's unequip this sword. And I'll keep the sledgehammer, but I'm gonna put these away. But yeah, sometimes my, my problem is when I'm when I'm talking about stuff, just in, in general, I talk about, like, certain things I'm doing, and then, like, it takes forever for stuff to come out, and I really apologize about that. Um, because I, I, I'm, ex I'm just as excited as you are to, like, start other, other things. But, like, it's, it's taking a while. But, um... So let's equip this. 
I'm gonna keep that shield on for now, and I guess I'll keep this armor on for now. Alright, so now I need my holy water. But, like, when I mention things and then you don't see it happen, it doesn't mean that I forgot about it. It just means that it's still a work in progress. Oh, yeah, I hope they, I hope they localize Fortune Street. That'd be cool. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. Kate Sith. Yeah. Yeah, and so... I mention things and then they don't happen for a while. And like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm not doing them. I'm still working on them. So I have something going on in the on the back end. A couple of ideas brewing that I might start doing for uh, Patreon. I might start doing some stuff. Because one of my favorite... Um, where is this holy water? That's what I'm looking for. One of my favorite LPers is... Uh, his name is the... Um, his name is the Game Hoarder. All right? And he just recently... Well, he hasn't re he, he has uh, made a Patreon, right? And he has a really, really, really good type of Patreon. So, um, where uh, did I not make the holy water, or did I put the holy waters away or something? I'm not seeing them. So he has like this really good setup for Patreon and how he has it. And like, so I think I'm gonna kind of snatch a little bit of his uh, of his ideas about how to do it. Like, so he has all these different tiers of, um, of, of users and supporters or whatever. So I think that's something I'm going to try and do. And then what he does is he has it so that, uh, now let's make as many as I can of this. And so he has, uh, like all these different LPs going on and, and he has like a bunch of stuff going on in the back end and like LPs that you'll get to see first on Patreon. I guess. Ooh, a strength ring. Yes. I will make one of these. Alright, cool. What about this? Does this make like a super strength ring? Maybe? No. Okay. So, one of, the, one of my ideas to do, and I'll just bounce this off you, but maybe start in Final Fantasy. Right? And doing that as like a Patreon-only... Uh, LP for at least like a little while and then I'll throw it up on YouTube. I don't know. I, I, I was never a big fan of putting stuff behind a paywall, which is something I, I don't want I don't want to start doing. Let's put these. They fill my hunger meter 10. They fill my hunger meter 10, 20. Yeah, I'm just gonna move some of the food. Let's make some food while I'm here. But yeah, so it's something I'm I'm considering doing. Let's make some bunny corn steak. I wish I could do where I could. I hope in the next Dragon Quest. Uh yeah, I think you can upload the videos to Patreon, or you can make uh, unlisted videos or private videos that you can have just for Patreon. And so maybe I'll start like a whole playthrough or something. Where it'd be like the Final Fantasy series, or some something else where, it, where it would be just something where you know you can come and see what's going on. Oh, you know what? I want to make cactus steaks. But yeah, it's something just so that it's like perks. Because honestly, all I have right now is like, hey, you know, give you know, if, if you want to help support the channel, or whatever, you could do that. Uh, I don't really have anything, like, in particular other than I give you, like, a verbal thank you. Like, I'll thank you, like, really send you an actual thank you. So, I'm not sure what, what to do with that yet. It's been hard because I don't want to, you know, come off, like, a shill. And, like, not that I'd be begging for money, but, like, asking for money. Because this is st still a hobby. But, one of the things that the Game Hoarder said was that he's, like... You know, if you've been following me and you've been enjoying... Look at this thing. Whip? Is that what it's called? Whip? Whip? If you've been following and enjoying the, you know, the videos for as long as you have, I don't know, however long you've been watching, maybe, you know, you find the videos kind of entertaining, you might want to give, like, a dollar or something. Not that I'm asking. Again, the way I look at it is... Wow, look at this thing. Pretty much the way I look at it is, is I'm... I, the Patreon is there for like, um, for like if you if you're going look at this thing, huh? Cool. But like if you're going to, uh, I don't know if you're just gonna 
if you if you if you like my stuff and you want to give me a buck, you can do that. So I don't really have tiers of anything. I don't. I do have goals, but the goals the goals are all right. I mean, I don't think they're anything that anyone wants to see. They're more of like games that I'll play for the most part. I know people want to see Earthbound. That's something I remember back in the day. People were always asking me about. Are you gonna play Earthbound? And I think I put that as a Patreon goal or a Patreon goal. But yeah, so the game hoarder has how he has his setup is um, he has him set up like uh, different goals or something where it's like if you if you uh, donate this amount of money you will be like a gold member and if you donate this amount of money you'll be a silver member and then if you donate this amount of money you'll be like copper or whatever I, I think I did that backwards but you get what I'm saying silver copper gold whatever so what he what I was thinking was I would do it as you can be you, you know donating oh it's only on the Android and iOS well I'm gonna have to check it out for the Android I got I got a nice phone maybe I can play it but uh or the ios maybe i could play it on my tablet hmm and then do it as an lp maybe or at least showcase it but yeah so i was thinking about doing tears and making them different monsters from the dragon quest world since everyone enjoys the dragon quest world and i don't want to i don't want to try and um i don't want to try and rank heroes from dragon quest world so i i was i figured let me let me do monsters instead so like at like at like the one dollar donation would be like you'd be a slime and it like I would do one two five and then like ten and twenty and then like a hundred or something some stupid like that. Where is the I think the warpies over here? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of like a tip jar if anybody wants a tip. Oh, and another thing, right? I found out was now on Twitch, you can get badges now, even affiliates. So it's not just subscriber, or it's not just uh, Twitch partners, but affiliates can also get uh, Twitch things, which is pretty cool. You can get like a subscriber badge or whatever badge. Yeah, different donations would get access to different content. It's just coming up with the with the plan of how to do that. It's something I need to work on. You know, because I got a lot of time to think on my job, so I, I think about various things, like how can I uh, how can I make the channel better, or like how can I get out of this job because I hate it, or whatever. You know, so I'm always looking to do something different, or at least expand on the channel. But yeah, this is the penultimate episode, in case I didn't mention before. The next episode will be the final episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I might come back to it every once in a while. But for the most part, I think I'm going to be done. Uh, so the next episode is going to be me building my castle. Pretty much. I'm going to build me castle. Or my town. It's not really a castle. It's probably going to be more like a castle town. Similar to Caitlin, Cantlin, whatever. And uh, then the next, uh, the next time we stream, it will be a, uh, it will be uh, Dragon Quest Heroes too, and that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, uh, well, I, I don't mind doing a co-op. Let me see what he said. It's not, it's like since you've done something nice for me, let me do something nice for you. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's kind of like what it would be, James. You hit the you hit the you hit the nail on the head, my friend. Uh oh. Oh, they're gonna attack me, these bastards. I'm surprised that I'm surprised the the king didn't pop up. But yeah, so m the re remainder of this video is just going to be me exploring this area. Seeing what this is all about, right?
What was that, silver? You know, that was something I didn't even think about. I should have, uh... Oh well, let's see what we got here. Let's take out some earth. So I can climb up. But yeah, the next game will definitely have some co-op. Yeah, one thing I've, I've, I've thought about doing for, like, streams and stuff, because everybody does it, is, like, face... What, I wonder what this is. Is, like, silver? Is, like, face cam or whatever, but I'm not, I'm not starting that. No one wants to look at my ugly mug. So I'm not going to bother with that. All right, this is coal or something, maybe? I don't know. But, yeah, so... Because everybody does, like, a face... Well, I don't know. Is there any streamer that's pretty good that actually doesn't use face cam? And they're just like, yeah, I'm here to play the game and interact, chit-chat with everybody. I mean, to be honest, I don't watch a ton of streamers. I do check out Theji's stream every once in a while. And uh, whatever Demon Angels thing, sometimes I'll check out his stream. But I don't go, I don't go do crazy watching. <laughs> I got a pretty mouth. Yeah, I don't go too crazy watching other people's streams just because I don't really have the time. Unfortunately. Man, there is so much good stuff here. I'm just trying, I'm honestly just trying to do a Hansel and Gretel on this. So that if I, when I come back here a little bit later, I'll know to, uh... Oh, let's get this guy. Man, that strength ring is helping out quite a bit besides also having the best... Yeah, it doesn't showing I I don't I don't think showing your face adds a lot to the content other than like if you're playing like a a scary game or something where it's like maybe something blind maybe but even then I don't think showing your face adds too much to to anything and I don't think holy water works here. No. It does not. So let's keep walking around. And yeah, I'll come over and I'll destroy these guys. Why not, right? Take that ghost. At least you're not some stupid poltergeist bastard. Let's get rid of you and see what you're all about. Yeah, so I opened the next Dragon Quest Builders. They add something. They add a feature that lets you, um... They add a feature that lets you make more than one. What's this? I think this is like, oh, build this from right to left. Yeah, no, no thanks. I'm just gonna keep going on with my journey. I'm gonna kill you, though. Because you pissed me off. I hate you. I don't like hate you, hate you. But I don't like you. Quickly! Can I make the bridge in time? Yes. I didn't make the bridge in time. You get off my case. Come over here, ghost. Alright, let's... Sh oh, yeah, cool, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll take your Android number or whatever. Yeah, I'll let you know when I pick it up. I've already picked up so many games recently. I picked up this game, it's called Forgotten Anne, it's pretty good. It's like a, uh... It's like a platformy, puzzly type game. It looks like Studio Ghibli. It's got the Studio Ghibli vibe. Can I go in here? Alright, not too far. Let 
but you know what? I really enjoy the, uh, I will admit this, I really enjoy the PSP emulator, man. Uh, I was, you know, when I was testing out, f um, alright, this is, oh yeah, I gotta go that way. I was testing out, um, you know, Star Ocean or whatever, and I just like the fact that I downloaded it and it worked. I didn't have to go crazy changing too many settings, thank God. I just had to, I just had to go in, start, and boom, bang, boom. You know what I mean? I loved it. I wish every emulator was like that. The only problem I had was like how I, I couldn't record on action, so I had to change one of the, uh-oh. I had to change one of the video plugins. But then after that, everything was all good. So yeah, it was cool. I'm really happy about this PSP plugin. I I don't know what I don't know what um, emulator I'm, or what game I'm or so Star Ocean 2 when I eventually get over to it that is on the PSP and the uh, the Android something or other. What? No, the PSP or the PlayStation. I'm like, what the hell am I talking about? Yeah, I have a I have a pretty steady frame rate. Everything the game the game honestly is not very graphically intensive, James. So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with it. All right, what the hell is that over there? I wish these skeletons would stop following me around. But yeah, it's a it's a good emulator. Oh, he had to use the oh god, he had to use the footage from the PS2 version. That sucks. What is that over there? All right, I'm gonna have to do some running away, I'm like a frightened child. All right, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fight fire with fire, and by fire I mean. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn into a legendary hero, god damn it. There we go. Now heal. Okay. Yeah, that sucks that he got his file that, that file got corrupted. But that that happens. It happens, unfortunately. Every once in a while, you get a corrupted file, you do something, and you're like, Oh god, the whole friggin' video's screwed, and then it's like... I can't go back and go get it, especially with Paul, the way he does it. He, he, uh... You know, he records a chunk, a huge chunk. He records like a giant chunk, so it's tough for him to go back and redo everything. Yeah, he always does have a way of coming out on top, that's for sure. Yeah, I do apologize. I know I mentioned in the... Uh, also, I want to thank everybody for joining, who joined, uh, who was able to attend the, um, the live cooking with Kenshin1913. Uh, thank you, everybody, who was able to show up. You guys are awesome. Anyone who didn't show up, who showed up later, like on the, the either watch it the old version or, or the what do you call it? the the one that I put on YouTube or even the stream archive. Thank you very much. We really enjoyed doing it. We might do it again. As long as people are, are curious or interested about it, we might do it again. See, there's an island over there. Or is there an island? No, there. That's not the island. All right, crab, leave me alone. That's where I came from over there. I must have because... It's green. So, yeah, we might we might do another one sometime in the future. Um... What else? Uh... Hey, look at that. That tree's all nice now. Um, ooh, red dragon. 
yeah, so I want to thank everybody for joining who, who was able to attend that. That was that was really cool of you. I can't see. Spinning. Fire. And dead. Let's see, did you drop anything? Just a meaty bone. But yeah, I do apologize for my first newt. I do apologize for saying that I was going to stream that Sunday. We just didn't end up streaming, unfortunately. It's not a problem. It's just, you know. All right. More food. All right, no more dragons. Let's, let's see what's going on here. There's like a big structure somewhere around here. This is supposed to be like the Dragon Lord's level area. Oh, there's a lot of dragons. Let's see. Oh, here it is. Here's what it is. All right, can, uh, all right, Phoenix Blade. Thank you for stopping by, man. You are a true god among men. And everybody, by the way, are god among men. You know what? I shouldn't just be saying that about. Phoenix Blade, everybody, you're all you're all terrific people. Some of the best. Look at this. What the hell is this? What's uh? What is this? What is this? It's got cannons. I wish I knew. I wouldn't built one. It's made out of wood. How is it? Oh yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Anthony Bourdain. That was a shame, right? I heard about that. I heard he was a and Kate Spade. I guess I don't really know who Kate Spade is. What is this? I don't want. I don't want to sound like a dick about like like the way that I'm saying that. Like, oh, Kate Spade. I just didn't know who she was, unfortunately. People were very sad that she passed away. You know what? I'm never going to knock anyone's, um, you know, their, the way they grieve or whatever, so. R.I.P. Kate Spade. Alright, let's see. What the hell is this? What's this? One of these things we're going to say. Oh! It's a ship. It's a ship. Okay, I kind of see it. Oh, there's a bunch of barrels on the bottom. All right, we're going to have to... Dude, this is cool. They built their own ship in the game. This is awesome. Look at all this stuff. What was over... Anything going to be over here? This is pretty cool. I wonder if you finish building it for him if, if you could set sail, but I doubt it. Because they don't have anything like a wheel or anything like that. But yeah, this is pretty cool. It's got a bunch of barrels and lanterns I should steal, but... I think in honor of these guys, I'm not going to destroy too much here. And I'm not even going to take the cannon because I don't need it. But let's see what else... Where am I? See what else we got here. I want to get over here and see what I got down here. Oh, chess? Oh no, what is this? What is ridge tiling? I'll take it. I'll even, I might even take some of the barrels here. Yeah, this is pretty awesome, this ship here. Because I might need barrels for, um... I might need barrels and stuff for making uh, that bar. Because I'm going to make that bar. So yeah, this area... This area feels a little uneventful, except for this badass ship. Look at this! Oh shit, they even have all this stuff over here. Wow. They got they got this stuff. 
Yeah, they got a track. Awesome. That would be cool if you were able to finish it and then you can get off the you can get off the off the ground or whatever. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't know I don't know why, but this just makes me feel like endor like it's an endor. Or not endor, but um what was the name of that town that was in uh, Dragon Quest IV that they were sailing from? The sisters of uh, Mom, Mama Barda or whatever. Yeah, I'm gonna take this stuff. Hell, I'm gonna take the throne. Here's why. Cause I might put one in my in my town. Sorry. I could use these, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I already have them at my on my own spot. I guess you could literally build this thing. Which would be pretty sweet. But I'm just going to take some stuff. Like this. You know what I could always do? Well, here's the thing. I don't want to, um... I don't want to blow it up so then monsters come over here. So I'll keep it a secret. Oops. Alright, let's run back a little bit. We'll see if we can find a mine somewhere and we'll see we'll see we'll see what what we can do. I think I saw one back a little bit here yeah there's all kinds of good stuff up here around around here well not here but maybe somewhere up here a lot of red dragons steal it all I wish I could James but that would take a long time So what's everybody, uh, oh, have a Leon, thank you, thank you, Abel. Yeah, kind of reminds me of that. Ooh, an egg. I only have one chi chimera wing, I need to make some. Okay, so I know where I've been because I made all the area green or whatever. There's a treasure chest over there, how do I get over there? I wonder if I, I can build, maybe? Can I build a bridge over there? Oh, boo! Hmm. Must be a way to get over there. Yeah, one, and also another thing I would change, like, if they're going to do another, if they're going to do another Terra Incogna mode or whatever for Dragon Quest Builders 2, I would, uh, I would say, why not have, why not, let's see, how do I get over there? I would say, why not have, uh, different music for your town, so you don't have to hear the same, uh, Dragon Quest 4 theme over and over. Not that I don't like it. Again, I love it, but I'd like to hear something else. Add different town themes. Let's see. We got our lava. Oh! Now that I have my magic cannon, I guess I could go back to where that one thing was and defeat those big cans and see what the hell I get. Let's see if I can beat you without dying, of course. Oh yeah, I beat you. You did now. Increase the A. 
What's the A? Do I need to increase something? How do I get over there? Increase this, the square when you get... Yes, yeah, definitely. Increase so you can share, like, a, you can make even a bigger town. That would be cool. Alright, let's see something over here. Yeah, that's an island over there. How do I get over there? Let's see if I can build. Oh, you bitch. How do I get over there? I don't know. There's a chest. Yeah, because you can't get over there through there, or can you? No, I don't know. Let's look at the bird's eye. Yeah, see? How do you get over there? Yeah, oh yeah. Upload your own town music would be pretty nice. You remember when they did that for Metal Gear Solid? You could listen to your own music. And then you could... Or Metal Gear Solid 4, I'm sorry. You could listen... Well, no, it wasn't... But you had, like, an iPod or something in that game. Wasn't it? Yeah, and then... I remember you could, um... I was trying to get the uh, Snake Eater theme. That was my goal, because I got it for Peace Walker. And I'm like, dude, I want the Snake Eater theme for Metal Gear 4. I think you have to do, like, a whole bunch of... Cri uh, odd criteria... To get uh, the boss. Let's see. I'm trying to find where I can mine. Probably in this mountain area over here. Once I get the hell out of here. Um. Sure, Ash. Put it down. I love that game. I would love to replay that. Oh, let me ask you this, James. Have you heard of uh, Curse of the Blood Moon? It's like a game from Konami, or by the guy who made uh, Castlevania or something. And he made like an 8-bit version of the game, and it's like Castlevania is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I think it's on Steam. Alright, let's not try to get killed here. I got the power and the speed. Yeah, I don't remember how to how to get the snake either team in four. I think it was a little easier in Peace Walker. I think they made it a little easier. I hate the fact that, like, I got hit there, and it didn't count as healing the land. And now I know that I'm not going the right way, because if I was going the right way... Yeah, it's like Castlevania, dude. It looks great. It looks really good. I would suggest taking a look at it. It's similar to Castlevania, in the essence of... Or at least Castlevania 3, where you get four... You get three characters, or four... Well, in this game, you get four. Which is pretty sweet. And then, um... You get to, uh... There's, like, a, a guy's name Zangetsu. He get, he's a, got a sword. And then there's a guy... A chick with a whip. Like Simon. So you... That's probably the most, most familiar. And then you have, um... What is it? You have a... You have a, a wizard... Old wizard dude... And then you have, um, 
What else do you have? You have an old wizard dude. And then you have a guy who turns, who can, who's like a metamorphosis guy. And he turns into a bat, which is pretty cool. So he's pretty much Alucard. Did that slime just fall and get injured? And now he's trying to run. Oh no, I fell in the water. Don't run away. Don't run away from your feelings. Silvery sludge. You know what? I'm gonna hang out out here. Oh no, I'm not. Hit me with stuff, anyways. Who's being mean? Yeah, I don't like what Konami did to Kojima either, but they made an abortion of a game, right? That uh, Metal Gear Survive. I don't think the game. I don't think the game that's coming out, the Blood Curse of the Moon, or or Blood Curse Moon, or whatever the hell it's called. I don't think it has anything to do with Konami. It's by the guy who originally made Castlevania, I believe. And he's just like, yo, I, I had a Kickstarter. And now I gotta... I'm making this game. But while I'm making this game, hey, check out this, uh... Check out this other game. that Or this, uh... Like, 8-bit version of it or something. It's pretty cool. Okay. Now I'm back to where where I originally was. Got the classic Dragon Quest game music going here. Let's go this way. Yeah, it's worth it's at least worth checking out, James, for sure. So Evil, what's the next game you're gonna be platinuming? Can you get out of my face there? There you go. When is the new Kingdom Hearts game supposed to be coming out? I think I saw a thing for it. Is this going to be like the final Kingdom Hearts? You know what I mean? Is this going to be like Kingdom Hearts final... The final countdown? Do 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 Cause isn't he? I mean, how do they keep using Haley Joe Osment? I mean, his voice must be totally different than what than what he originally sounded like back in the day. I'm just surprised that they, you know I thinking back on it, I'm just so surprised that Disney and Square Enix work so well together. I just wish that the story didn't get so damn convoluted. That's honestly my wit, my like. If I had a gripe about the game. That would be my gripe. Alright, so yeah, there was really nothing of... 
There was nothing too crazy in this section except for the boat, which was pretty cool. There was really nothing important. Well, not important, but uh, n super noteworthy. There we go. So let's get the hell out of here. All right, let's see what we got. Um. You know what? Why am I wasting my time? Let's see. Oh shit! My ha my thing is right here. Wow! I didn't know my cat my town was right there. Ah, daylight. Look at this, right here. How about that? I even have to go too far to get through the whole thing. Alright, so... I guess we'll do some more odds and ends in that third area. And yeah, I don't think I can go down any further. Alright, let's eat one of these. Okay, what are we doing? Alright, third area. So these, all these sections are so close to, close to each other. Yeah, well, yeah, they made, how many prequels have they made? They made like a, they made a prequel which was like Birth by Sleep or something. They have that whole Roxas thing, and it's like, when are you, when, why do we have to keep making new characters? Axel, not that those character, Organization 13, I think that was the name of it. I just kept saying, is this like, Star Ocean, because, two, because they had like, ten wise men? And like, how many bosses are we going to fight here? Jeez Louise. Where the hell is that hole that I usually go through to go to the third section? Oh, there we go. Yeah, there, there's like Birth by Sleep, and then they had that whole card game. Then they had one where it's, you know, you're, you're all these different games. Yeah, there, I remember the DS game. The, um, I forget what the name of that one was, but that was the one where I was like, yeah, I'm going to stop getting games. No, I said, if, if there's another game like this, I'm not getting them anymore. And then I played like the, whatever the one was where you play as like the three different characters or whatever. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done. I've been burned too many times on the Kingdom Hearts series. Like, just get the story over with. I know that you want to milk it for more uh disney content because there's just so much and now that they now that they have pixar they could like they they're doing a toy story thing it's like please finish what you, next they're gonna start doing live action friggin uh universe where it's like oh here's beauty and the beast and then oh here's live action beast and stuff like that or like you know what now that they own star wars oh here's kingdom hearts and star wars and it's like, all right, take it easy now. Now you're overloading us. You're killing us. You're killing your father, Larry. You know what I'm saying? And you don't want to kill your father. I mean, unless he's a piece of crap. Then go right ahead. But you don't want to kill your father. For the most part. I mean, there, there, again, there are circumstances. There are always circumstances.
So yeah, we pretty much explored all the areas of this uh, game, or at least this bonus content. Um, the only section we haven't explored is like the the actual fighting section, which I will show in another video. Oh, this does not work here. That works. Yeah, which is going to be the next episode. It's going to be the uh, fighting part, the uh, tournament thing. The Shining series tried to do like a prequel thing. See, the only prequel I will take from the Shining series would be... Let's see if I can use a cannon on this son of a bitch. Nope. The only prequel I'll take is like where... Like, I liked, um... Like, where did Max come from? Or whatever. And not the where did Max come from... Uh... Shining Force Game Boy game... Thing. Where he's like a scientist or something. That's weird. Oh, there we go. I wonder if it'd just be easier to go up and slash him. Yeah, I can't reach him. Get it, just keep using this then. Let's see what we get. We get something I don't really care about. Oh yeah, I don't get hurt in the lava. Because of uh, the armor that I'm wearing. That's cool. But yeah, um, the only thing, what else? I care about like Gardenia, I guess. Like the Gardenia world would be pretty cool to see more about. Like, you know, it'd be a pretty fun game. And I know this is like just, it would honestly just be fan service, but like, what about if we get to see like a Varios game? Or Astral? You remember that guy? Who's that old wizard guy from, from Shining Force 2? What was, who ended up taking care of your town? A game of... Just call it like Shining Force the Nova Corps. I know, I know that's kind of ripping off of... Uh, it's kind of ripping off uh, Marvel, but it'd be kind of cool. And then you get to play as like a young Nova, a young Varios, a young Astral guy would be pretty cool. And, and, and maybe it doesn't even have to do with, like... Maybe it really doesn't even have to do with, like, the world. Like, it could just be, like, a... Some random countries trying to take over Gardenia. Or, you, like, you meet... You meet, like, someone... Who's trying to take over or something. But it's not, like, take over the world. It's just, like, take over this kingdom because... You've got, like, a... I don't know, some... Some, uh some resource that they want or something. I don't know. It'd be kind of cool, I think. I mean, I guess they technically tried to do that when they did, uh... When they did, uh, the final... Uh, or the Shining Force... Uh... What the hell's the name of that game? The Shining Force game where they, uh... It was for, like, the Game Gear or something. I can't remember the name. Guy Shining Force Guidance something on there? Shit, if I can remember. Goddamn. Yeah, this is... Cutting through butter. Yeah, Shining Force prequel. Like... Or even like the prequel to the second game was fun, but that was because it was this, it was the same gameplay, and it just added like extra meat to the to the characters. You know what I mean? 
One of the characters that I really enjoyed playing as was Elliot, who was who I think was um what's his name? He was a dragon. And you had to fight him on the room you had to fight him on the plains of Pow. And he was a dragon guy, and you had to fight him, and it was fun, it was a good battle. Um, and then he apparently had a kid, and you had to fight him. Where is this, uh... Is it over here, or...? Down there, maybe? No. I think I went this way. Yeah, and so he had a kid, and, and uh... He was in that game, and it was pretty cool. I think I already came this way. There was something... I, I know I fought a big ice hand somewhere, or, or I ran away from a big ice hand somewhere over here. I wonder if it's this way. Look at all this stuff over here. I never noticed. But yeah, I guess, like, Balzac was, like, a good guy or something. Although, with the name Balzac, you're like, mm-mm, he's not a good guy. He's a... Balz You've never seen a... A guy, a good guy with the name Balzac. I'll tell you that right now. Balzac is always an evil son of a bee. I think this is Or Keltum. I could be wrong. I think it might be gold. I'm just trying to find the hand. There's an icy hand that I fought. It must be this way. Yeah, okay. I think I might be going the right way. The sequel to Shining Force was made Game Gear. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, it was supposed to be a separate story, separate world? Wow. Oh, yeah, the Game Gear one. Let's see. Yeah, I think it is this way. Okay, Ice Hand is over here. Shoot it. Shoot it, run away. Shoot it. Yeah, final conflict, that's the one I'm thinking of, James. Thank you. Oh, so Shining Force 2 wasn't even gonna be like a... So final conflict was made even before, uh, even before uh, Shining Force 2? Is that what you're saying, James? Oh, look, there's a treasure chest under the water. What's this? Oh, curious contraption. Nice. Alright, so that's pretty much it here. And yeah, there's all this, uh, uh like, icy thing here. What is, oh, what is this? What is this, mithril? The blue stuff. Oh, it was made after Shining Force 2. Oh, they wanted to tie the games together. Okay. Kind of like the Lebowski's rug. I get ya. But yeah, look at this. This is like a great area just to gather tons of stuff. Ooh, what's over here? 
What's this? Oh. This must have been where I was trying to make a hole earlier. Yeah, I like the fi I like Final Conflict because it was um had Max in it, which was cool. You got to see him again, and he actually talked, which was pretty cool. Adam, Adam was cool. Uh, there was that that kid that joined your group. They ended up being an old man, but they made him too young. Howell, I think his name was. Sometimes I'm I'm honestly surprised at how much I remember about video games. But honestly, I feel like it's it's just a chunk of my brain where it's like, um, it's like it's like folders, those inside files, you know. Look at all this good stuff I'm collecting. Tons of gold, and I think silver. I love gold. Alright, we're good here. The hella hammer broke apart? I thought that was my sledgehammer. Shit. Oh well, I'm done here. Let's get the F out. Zeon Satan from another, and it was changed. Well, Dark Soul wasn't he one of the uh, one of the guys too? Dark Soul was supposed to be one of the three monsters. Okay, so we have no more wings of wyvern. We need to make some. Chimera wings, wings of wyvern, whatever. Look at that, I'm able to make the bash mobile. Which I'll probably never use, but at least I said I made it. Alright, cool. Alright, let's see what else we got. Now we're gonna start building some nice things. I'm starving. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna fill this with dirt. Since I couldn't make it my floating, uh... Since I couldn't make it my floating, um... Thing. My floating, uh, hot tub. I guess, honestly, it makes sense that it can't be floating. Alright, so let's make me a bar. Alright, so what do I need buildings, room recipes, bar, bar, body, builder's bar. I need a brick barbecue, a chest, a beer barrel, bar counter, chair, four chairs, and a decorative food. Oh, there was a backlash from the Christian community, of course. Those damn Christians. No offense to anyone who is one, but if you're like Uber, whatever, you're going to be a pain in the patootie. <clears throat> Alright, let's see. I know I have a bar somewhere. Did it say what kind of light source that it needed? Hmm. 
I know I have a bar. I thought I broke down a bar. All right, here we go. All right, so the bar is going to be right here. We're going to have a chest. I don't have a chest, but do I have chairs, stools? I'll take out four. One, two, three, four. All right, what else do I need? Four chairs, a decorative food. Brick barbecue chest, a beer barrel. Brick barbecue chest, beer barrel, decorative food. Yeah. Given the Japanese script, it seems plausible. Meat feast. I need a searing steak. chest and a beer barrel. No, I don't need backup, but thank you for your assistance. Chest. Beer barrel. Where are you? I need a cook fire. Yeah, it's gonna be a cool room with lots of cool stuff happening. Oh. No, I don't want you joining. Alright, where are you, Beer Barrel? Maybe I should use wooden stools. Did me I can't make a beer barrel with this thing? Maybe it's this thing. All different types of woods. Fencing, hmm. Where are you, beer barrel? There we go. All right, let's head back upstairs. Did I make the, uh... Okay, I did. Whoops. All right, you got your meat platter. You got your kitchen. You got your beer barrel. Boom. Is that everything? Let's see. Bar counter, big, 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 decorative chair, or chair, decorative food. You know what? I'm probably going to have to make this its own room. Because this is technically a room.
Alright, let's make, uh... What the hell am I making? Uh... This door, right? What are those doors called? The... Saloon door? What else do I want to do? I don't know what else I want to do. What else is in a bar, I guess? Do 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 Boom, here we go, man room. There we go, I built a room. I wonder if I have to use different types of chairs. Let's see. Nope. But I have a brick bar chest. That, oh, I didn't put down a chest. There we go. That's what I need to put down. Boom! We got a bar here. Here's what I'm gonna do too. I'm gonna make a another little thing here. People can sit down and eat. Wouldn't it be sweet if I could make a jukebox? That would be cool. Small table. Take out one. Oh, you know what? Take out two. Oh, we have two stone tables. Yeah, put these away. Take out two of those. Now, where are the stools? Let's put this away. And I'll get out some stools. Yeah. Packing that ass, the masses in. People can come in here and sit and eat. Your battery's dying. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for coming, James. If you gotta go, man, that's um, it's all good. Thank you for showing up, man. You're you're an awesome dude. You're the eighth awesomest dude on the in the in the world. So that's pretty good. I would say, eighth awesomest dude in the world. Where can I make a rug? Let's see. Whopping needle. Furniture. Let's see if I can build a rug. Or is that something else I'll need? Yeah, Powie Yowie. I need needles. How do I get needles? I don't know. Alright, so let's come up here. I got an idea. And put some cutlery down. I'm gonna put a sconce right here, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little table. Oh no, I don't want four, just one.
Damn it, I want one. I'm gonna put a table here. I got some chairs, don't I? Or do I use them all in that thing in there? I might use them all, but I'm gonna take the TNT board and place it right on top. Boom. Look, people could sit in here and have a good time. Yippee skippy. I need a freezer flower, which I only have one of. Uh, let's see. How about one and one more? All right, what other room should I make? I got like a little play area. People can play all kinds of cool shit up here. And what should I put over here? Let's see. Buildings. Room recipes. Armory. Can't do a bath. I can do workshops. We don't, can't do a teleportation room. Greenhouse mate. Great flower garden. Private bedroom. Uh, let's do a infirmary or... What's the best one? Yeah, alright, infirmary. Alright, so let's build! We're just gonna build right off of here. It's gonna be sweet. And I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. Hostel. Brick barbecue. No, we're not doing that again. Four simple beds, a small table, a pot plant, wash tub, and a light source. So I think I already have a small table, don't I? Take out one. I'll put it right here. We need plants. Plot potted plant. Can I make it over here? Nope. So I need four simple beds. I need a wood door. Gotta have a nice wood door. You gotta have four wood beds. I need cotton. Shit. I, need a, I think I have wash tubs. No, I don't have a wash tub, really. I need 
hot and shoot. Eh, screw it. Let's see. Oh, you know what I want to do? I want to make... Fence. Does anyone have any ideas about anything they would like to see made? Maybe I can make something. I'm open to suggestions, of course. If anybody has any, you're more than willing, you're more than, oh, it's this kind of fence? I was hoping to, it'd be straight. I just want it so that you don't fall in the water. If I put this fence here, is it going to make, whoops. If I put the fence there, is it going to make it fall? All right, there we go, perfect. Okay, the door's still open, I'm fine. And then, yeah, I can't put, unfortunately I can't put anything right on top like that, otherwise I would. Maybe I should put a fence here, around here. Or at least the back part, I don't know. Hmm, what else should I do? There's the robot. I guess I could do the flooring there. I'm not, I'm not sure what else I could work on. I'll take this brazier and put it right here. Uh-oh. Oh, I must have missed it. Yeah, what I'll do for the next episode is I'll I'll uh I'll see if I can go get some more cotton like off screen. Uh, I need more earth. Do I have another door so that I could at least fix this thing? Probably not. I have a king size bed. There's three straw beds. Whoops. See, where do I have my earth? Oh, damn it. Ah, damn. Alright, here's what's gonna happen. I'll put one here. And I'll put one... There we go. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll do like a hella hammer thing or something. Alright, so there we go. I just gotta fill this in. Let's see here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I do apologize that I, like... You know, the thing about streaming and schedules is t it's tough to have a schedule. I, I do try. Like, during the week I was going to do it, but, like, I fell asleep. Like, not on Tuesday I was so beat. I went to bed at 9 o'clock at night. Which, like, I never do. But I was so friggin' tired, I couldn't take it. So I just went to bed. Yeah, some nights it's tough to, to try to stay up. Like, after you work 10 hours, it's tough to stay up and be like, Yeah, I'm gonna record a video. Or even stream, at that, for that matter. I'm so tired, I was like, oh god. And like, you know what's sad is, I hardly ever fall asleep at 9 o'clock. And I just fell asleep, and then I woke, you know what it was? I probably even, I probably even fell asleep earlier, to be honest. But I just woke up at 9 o'clock, and I'm like, uh oh, I better go to bed. Because I was tired. Yeah, because my work schedule is four 10-hour days. Where the hell is... There you go. And there we go. Alright, so we built this section here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I should just keep going this way. Chilling. And there we go. All right. So I could make like another little thing over here, or I could just say screw it. And that's. Whoops. Yeah, the one thing I won't do is cover up this, uh, the flag thing here, or the, the thing, so when I do warp back, I'll warp right down there. Uh, what else do I want to do? Oh, can I make the, uh... Can I... I can't make any cotton. That's the only thing I haven't been able to make, a sewing station. What do you got in here? Oh, a chest, that's good. Oh yeah, you gotta have bottles up on the bar. You know, back in the day, I will admit that I used to be more of a morning person than even a night person. Lately, um, I've been staying up later. Not that, like, that, like, changes anything, but... No one comes in here and makes anything, huh? You know, I don't have enough human-related people in here. That, that's the problem. Where are the humans? 
All oh, right, so bars. All right, it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to end the episode here. And, uh, yeah. In the next episode, we'll continue making some things around here. I'll try and think of something else I can make. I'll go look for some cotton, and then we'll do, like, the arena stuff. And then that's pretty much going to be it uh, for this game. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight on the stream. And I want to thank everybody who watching it on YouTube afterwards. I have been Kench1913, and have a great evening, day. Enjoy the rest of your life. Bye-bye.